was probably the smoothest takeoff I've ever had, considering it's really hard to launch a plane this size with no handhold. I'm going to be experimenting with the yaw mechanism that I have today, if I want to keep it the way I have it, or if I want to switch it up to a thrust vectoring rudder, maybe. Here's a really tight turn. You can see that left rudder banked all the way down. It's sort of windy for this plane since it's so huge it gets blown around quite a bit. I'm at like 60% throttle. Here's full right rudder and you can see it works decent. Certainly not like a conventional rudder on most planes. I was flying the other day and I was flying with a hawk and it was flying over the parking lot over there and I noticed that there was definitely a thermal over there from all that heat rising off the blacktop and I flew over it with my long EZ, that other flying wing looking plane and I gained a lot of altitude in a short amount of time compared to level flight and I thought that was pretty cool so I kind of want to do some glider tests with that see how long I can stay up with the glider. But if I start circling, you'll start to see how I gain altitude just by going over that blacktop. Okay, so, so one of the forum members suggested that I do opposite rudder when going into a turn. So I go like that, it'll keep my nose up. And yeah, that helps a lot. So I don't lose any altitude, and that's the point is to not lose any altitude. And that helps a lot compared to this, where all I'm doing is sinking. Yeah. So, I, I feel like I should keep this. I don't go behind the tree. been a pretty good day. So far this plane's doing really well. I've had no crashes with it and it's it glides really nicely since it's so efficient. 